uh, the first one of my family was a French man. Um, he came from Haiti in 1798. And then the Dutch part of my family, which is the, the young family, um, they arrived in 1824. And they were military, Dutch military, and never left. I take it there's no such thing as a typical Curacaoan? I don't think so, not anymore. We are so mixed that um, that I guess the one who feels good with the island, the one who really cares about what we have here, which is 444 square kilometers, which is not that much, but I guess um, if we do it right, I guess we can have a paradise to live in. When she was just a girl, she expected the world, but it flew away from her reach, so she ran away in her sleep and dreamed of power. The main reason I chose to, to bring here Joshua is because we are very known for our corals, we are very known for the diving, it's very beautiful, but there's a very important thing. Without these red mangroves, um, we don't have that blue water. We don't have the fish to maintain the corals because 60% of all the fish that lives on the reefs lay their eggs between these um, roots and they go live on the reef so they can eat all the algae to keep these corals alive and keep the water blue but we need this this green system so we can maintain that blue system out there Slowly but surely we get to know a lot more of ourselves and the planet we live on which in our solar system is unique as far as we know. And I guess the better we know about it, um, the better we can, we can preserve ourselves. And if we preserve ourselves, automatically we're going to preserve anything else on it. Why? Because we need it to live. So if I can take the people inside like we're doing now, you're going to understand much better why it's important to have nature around you. My name is Ryan the Young and this is my Curacao. Oh.